Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you an easy math trick that you can use to read anyone's mind. You can use this trick to impress people really easily. Let's get right to it. This is the process. You're going to ask them to pick a number between 1 and 10. And make sure that they pick a whole number. You don't want them choosing any number that has a decimal or a fraction or anything like that. You just want them to pick a number between 1 and 10. Okay? Then you're going to ask them to multiply that number by 2. You're going to ask them to multiply the number by 2. Next, you're going to tell them to take that answer and multiply it by 5. So they will take the answer and multiply it by 5. For the next part, you're going to tell them to take that answer and divide it by the original number. So divide that by the original number. And then you're going to finally ask them to take that answer and subtract 7. Okay, so that's the whole process. Now, when you're done, when, the, when they have finished this, you're going to tell them that you're going to guess the answer after all of this. And you're going to guess the number 3. And if they did this correctly, then they will always end up at 3. So all that you have to do is say, I'm going to guess the number that you're at. You're going to, you know, do some hand motions to make it convincing. And then you're going to guess the number 3. Now let's just go over um, a few examples. So let's just say that they have picked the number 5. Okay, so they've picked 5 as their first number. When they multiply it by 2, it's going to bring them to 10. When they multiply that number by 5, it's going to bring them to 50. When they divide by the original number, which was 5, it's going to bring them to 10. When they subtract 7, it's going to bring them to 3. And when you guess 3, you will blow their mind. Now, here's another example. Let's say that, let's say that they chose the number 7. Okay? If they take 7 and they multiply it by 2, they're going to get 14. If they take 14 and multiply it by 5, they're going to get 70. Then if they divide by the original number, which was 7, they are going to get 10. And then if they subtract 7, they're going to get 3. And when you guess the answer as being 3, once again, you will blow their mind. And they can choose any number, any whole number between 1 and 10, and this will work. So it's literally that simple. You can convince anyone that you are reading their mind if you use this very simple math trick. I've told you how to do it using this little order over here, okay? And then I've also provided you with two examples. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.